So I didn't even have a full tongue arch for my high C. Don't need it. I guess I'm just a little bit lucky. I just don't need it after doing it for all these years because I also have this to rely on. And I also have a lot of hot air. I think people know that one, right? So that's even when I'm not playing the horn. Now let's go a little bit higher. Um, roll in. Oh yeah, tongue arch was up there, way up there, and almost probably at the max, but not quite, because my max starts to get, uh, my, my tongue really, I can feel the brunt impact of it when, uh, for me, when I'm going to my highest notes. Ah, got the B out, not the double, not the triple C. Once I'm at, for me, uh, triple A, triple B, and triple C, my tongue is like, uh, it's just shaking, it's just grinding as hard as it can to, to lift up and close off the air at the roof because it's trying to make just a little pinprick of a space for the air to come through extremely fast and then come down. And then after that, it's up for my lips to be able to continue grip into the mouthpiece and hold that narrow aperture. And as soon as you have a millimeter flinch where your lips can't do that, all of a sudden you, you drop. You could drop a fifth when you're up that high. So I hope this video helped explain what most of you think you are doing, but you're not. Tongue arch, just like diaphragm, is not theoretical. It's something that you really employ you really employ so tongue arch take a good look roll in tongue arch it's not pleasant to look at but so many people have problems with that uh, you just need a little tough unpleasant love in this video so we talked about roll in, roll out. I got up close and personal. Roll in. Sorry, roll out. Roll in. Roll out. Roll in. You need to understand that concept and you actually need to, need to be able to apply it. That means really do it. Not something you're thinking about. You are really doing the roll in and roll out. You are really doing the tongue arch and then flattening the tongue back out when you go lower. You are really moving your jaw up and down, depending on what register you're playing in. These are things you're really doing, and if you're not really doing, but you're just thinking about them, you really are having problems, and you're not sounding the way that you likely could. So this is all about technique and feel. It's like riding a bike, there's a technique to it, but also there's a feel that you got to learn, right? So technique and feel. This is not about um, lifting weights and getting stronger, making your chops stronger. This is all about applying technique to what you've actually done, the conditioning of your embouchure and your lips. You apply this to technique to it, and it'll just you're going to have that wow experience. So now, for those of you who thought that you could just watch this video and sail on into the silvery seas uh, with no more problems, no. Uh, upper register and endurance is the most challenging technique on the instrument, bar none, bar none. So um, I gave you some really good advice on this one to help you, but you still need to get involved in a process. So many people, when I say so many people, it just gets ridiculous. I mean, every time I log on to Facebook, can you help me with a high note tip? Can you help me with this? Can you show me this? I mean... Well, first of all, it's my job, you know, and uh, people sometimes pay me for doing that. But second of all, no, I can't just show you a quick little tip because one quick little tip is not going to help you attain your goals. And the reason is because most people don't understand improving your upper register and endurance is a process that you must go through. 
it is a process that you must go through and you need to have somebody show you the correct process and the right timeline to accommodate your goals and a couple of um, techniques a routine from some guru uh, meaning one technique from one from one routine or some tips and tricks just ain't gonna cut it you're just not going to get what you want so um, I've shown you some pretty good techniques here which is a part of it but you have there's no shortcuts you have to go through the process you got it my friends I hope you do and I hope this helped bye for now it's Kurt Thompson and you haven't forgotten my website, have you? TrumpetSizzle.com Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's YouTube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently, all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.